from December 12th has yet to be able to change the pad color. Pocket front, Palmieri on the backhand, scores! Kyle Palmieri with number 26, he's back tied for the league lead in goals. Well that didn't take too long, Jason. A couple of games Palmieri wasn't able to find the back of the net, but right there off the face off, able to get a loose puck and just hold on to it as Kielmeyer couldn't get up off the ice. Palmieri gets his 26th of the season. No. As a wide open shorthanded attempt by the Devils is put home. Vladimir, Vladimir Zhelkov for the tip in. It's one to one. Tense moments for the crunch right now as Jelena looks to wind up, but instead goes to Sislo as Albany moving the puck very well on this power play. And a tip in goal. Goes pushing and shoving. Now he'll drop the gloves. It's Bodie. Bodie gets Dan Kelly. It's Kelly. Throws a couple rights and Bodie responds. Bodie's helmet's off and he throws a couple uppercuts on Kelly. Kelly works off the glove and Bodie wildly swinging at the Devils defenseman gets his shoulder pad off, his elbow pad off, excuse me, and now both players tumble down to the ice. And maybe that's something that'll help the Crunch get back into this game and certainly got the crowd back into this game. Harold who will clear it up to Tenenby, who's got a step, Tenenby in, shot, score! Matias Tenemi puts the Devils up 3-1, 317 into the third period. Flected out, Perkovich with an empty net and he'll toss it in. Here on home ice and hopefully and perhaps the road will treat the crunch a little bit better. The next four games will be on the road. Tomorrow in Cleveland, next Wednesday back in Albany and then next Friday and Saturday in Norfolk, Virginia. And Timo Peelmeyer picking up his first AHL win of the season. And why not do it against your former team?